Damn. <laughs> good evening, good ass people. Yay! I see how some of y'all looking at me. I promise I'm not that little boy from the Bernie Mac show. <laughs> y'all can kiss my ass for laughing at that. <laughs> um, I turned 30 years old, so I decided it's time for me to get serious and go take a physical. But midway through the physical, things got real awkward. The doctor looked me right in my eyes. He said, Mr. Stamps, just pull your pants down and make sure everything's okay. Now I'm standing there with my pants and my ankles. He got my milk duds in his hand. My balls looking like Kimbo Slice. I'm trying to look comfortable. And I thought about it. I said, I shouldn't be standing here uncomfortable by my damn self. So I just started playing in the doctor's hair. <laughs> I started hula hooping. That didn't work, so I just started singing to him. Hey, I just met you. This is crazy. But here's my number, so call me maybe. Make a long story short, we've been texting each other for about a week now. I love my damn doctor. I want to tell anybody, if you got kids, you need to throw away your house phone. Only talk to your significant other on cell phones. Kids like to eavesdrop on their parents, and they can be traumatizing. I know because I used to eavesdrop on my damn parents. My life hadn't been the same since. My dad called home, talking all sexy and managed to my mama. I'm in my room listening on the other phone. Gertrude, how you doing, baby? You damn right, Gertrude. <laughs> Gertrude, when I get home, baby, I'm bringing chocolate thunder and I'm bringing it, I'm giving it out all over the house. So you get ready, baby, put on something nice because when I come home, I got that chocolate thunder and it's going to be good. I'm giving out that chocolate thunder, baby, so you be ready. Love you. I hung up the phone, went in my sister room all excited. <laughs> and but daddy bringing out some candy bars tonight. <laughs> he used to bring Snickers and Kit Kats, but tonight he bringing chocolate thunder. <laughs> I can't wait to get my hands on that chocolate thunder when daddy come home. <laughs> I went sat on the couch talking to my mama. Mama, daddy bringing out some candy bars tonight. Yeah, your daddy bringing some candy bars tonight. Is he bringing chocolate thunder, mama? Yeah, daddy bringing chocolate thunder. I hope he brings some jumbo-sized chocolate thunder candy bars, mama. No, ain't nothing jumbo about that chocolate thunder your daddy bringing home tonight. It's probably gonna be fun-sized chocolate thunder tonight. I'm just trying to let y'all know my family's not well endowed when keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> I was the victim of a, of a hate crime last summer. Um, I was with my kids, Jaquantarius and Aquafina. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop laughing at my family damn names up in here. Aquafina's some good ass water. <laughs> I was gonna name a tap. <laughs> but we were walking to Chili's and I turned around and I noticed a squirrel was running at us like a German Shepherd. So I'm walking, my kids freaked out. I turned around, the squirrel stopped. I said, it's okay, kids. It's just a squirrel, it's no problems. We turned around and kept walking. The squirrel started running straight at us like a German Shepherd again. This time, Jaquan Terrace grabbed my leg. I said, kids, it's okay, I'm your protector. Your safe daddy's here. We kept walking. Squirrel ran up on us one more time, stopped right at my foot. I stopped, looked at the squirrel. The squirrel looked at me. I had on my camouflage shorts, legs glistening. Squirrel looked at me again, ran straight up my leg. I said the manliest thing I could say at the time. I was like, help me, Jesus, oh! 
I freaked out. And I thought about it. I said, squirrels racist as hell. They think all trees look alike. Thank you. Somebody said, I get it. The one black person here with me. <laughs> She feels my pain. I hate squirrels. <laughs> Damn brown devils. Um, I'll let you get that out. Um, I love my wife. My wife, I love her. She's a phenomenal cook. But she's Asian. So it's always, a, people are always trying to figure out what's the contra, controversy, the conspiracy about how she can cook so well. Like people are always confused when they come by and eat. They like, who made these greens? Your wife made these greens? I thought she was gonna make some egg rolls or something. These are good. My cousin's always trying to figure out how the hell she cooks so good. Your wife made these ribs, Byron? These some good ribs. She had at least been, slept with at least 10 black dudes to learn how to cook ribs this good. And I got offended. I was like, what the hell? Do they think black dudes all we do is give out cooking instructions after sex? <laughs> like we smoking cigarettes. Yeah, when you, just make sure when you put the rub on them, you marinate them for two hours. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't know how to cook. Um, I'm gonna do, I mean, I lost my mother last March. Yeah, yeah, I lost my mother. This is the toughest thing I've ever dealt with in my life. But on the day my mother passed, my mother, I came in the hospital and break it down. My mother looked at me, she said, Byron, don't cry for me. It's my time. This is the law of life, son. Just as you're born, you'll die. I'll always be in your heart. You'll be strong. I love you. And I thought about it. I said, my mother's the strongest person I know. She grew up in the Mississippi during the civil rights era. She's been through a lot. That's a strong woman. I can't wait to have a moment like that with my kids. But I grew up in the 80s. I ain't done nothing but watch TV every day. I can see myself calling my kids in. Come on in, Jaquan Terrace and Aquafina. Um, you well? Guys, you take the good, you take the bad. You take them both. And there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. And kids, I want y'all to know, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a friend and a confidant. Shouts out to the Golden Girls fans up in here. All right. All right. There it is. Somebody just yelled, I don't know what they just said. And kids, I want you to know one more thing about me, kids. Um, I never told y'all this, but I just want y'all to know before I go um, about your daddy, how he grew up. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, <laughs> on the playground is where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool, and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. And I said, y'all know it too. <laughs> With a couple of guys that were up to no good, Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little, my mom got and said you. Yeah! 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 Now I just need somebody to come on the stage and throw me out like jazz. Hey, now, wait now. Wait now. Not to do it with the camera. <laughs> Look at God, hey, God, hey, man. God. <laughs> he grabbed my booty. Y'all been great. Y'all been great open stage. My name's Byron Stamps. Enjoy the rest of the show. I gotta, I gotta get him some of this chocolate thunder. <laughs>